Okay, hello everyone. So it's Roisin here and I'm filming from a place called uh, Chiapas. It's a place called San Cristobal de las Casas in Mexico. So they have loads of, loads of like different exotic fruits that are local to the area. So I'm going to just talk through a few of them. So the first one is lychees. So you might have heard of this before. These are so good and they're found everywhere. So I got a like big bag of them for 25 cent and like they make loads of juices, sorbets. But they're delicious and the way you eat them you just um, you just pull it out and it's like a ball and there's a pip in the inside so these are like so good and they kind of just have them as a snack throughout the day the other fruit which is so delicious and I found loads of this in like Peru Bolivia Colombia it's the cactus plant so it's called tuna tuna fruit they make loads of like marmalades out of this as well uh, ice cream and you eat it like this there's loads of pips in it so at the beginning I used to spit them all out but you actually you just eat them and there's loads of different varieties but when you first get it it's full of spikes because it's from the cactus so you have to just make sure you get the variety with it. This is actually probably my favourite one. So good. The next lad is guayava. This is so good. There's again different varieties but in Mexico they have kind of the wider version. They make um, loads of smoothies out of this. It's really like sweet. And actually when I was in Ecuador, this particular fruit is causing huge problems in the country because in the Galapagos Islands because it keeps growing and the turtles keep eating guayava plants and pooing out the seeds, sorry, <laughs> pooing out the seeds and it, it keeps growing. So they actually have a problem with overgrowth of this and blackberries. An interesting fact. The other ones, I've never tasted these before, they're delicious. They're called hobos, so easy one to remember. Uh, v nice. You just um Peel the skin and again they have a seed in the middle. Uh, you don't get that much fruit out of them so people just snack on them throughout the day. And then the last one, these are called misperos, so it doesn't look the most appealing there but again it's like uh, similar to the hobo and you just peel it and fruit. Like This is only like a tiny selection of fruits that they have here in Mexico. It's absolutely insane, all of the different fruits, all of this, so cheap. You can even buy loads of fruit salads on the street and they actually eat loads of, they snack on this throughout the whole day. So I think anyone thinking of coming to Mexico, the amount of fruits that you can choose from is amazing and probably the most I've seen in all of um, in all of South America and Central America. So um, I hope you enjoy.